Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Sunspot. I just got him in one of the featured crystals. I was going for Warlock. I got him very happy about that. Uh, he's only ranked 3, and we're going to take a look here first at his synergies. He actually has some pretty nice synergies here. Uh, you've got a synergy with uh, Cable and Warlock. Warlock just recently came to the contest. Uh, that is who I was trying for, but I got Sunspot instead, like I said. Uh, we've got MODOK and Red Hulk, both def decent champions. I think MODOK is underrated. Uh, Red Hulk, you guys already know what a beast he is. We've got Captain America and Iron Man. Well, not too much there. Um, and we've got Mephisto and Hela. Uh, if you like them, great. I'm not terribly a fan of Hela. Uh, Mephisto can put in that work. And finally, we've got one with Magic, Beast, Cyclops Red, and Colossus, who is going to be getting a buff very, very soon. All right, let's take a look at his abilities here. And he's not awakened, but his awakened ability gives him uh, more max solar charges, so he would have another 40. All right, that's all. All right, so as you can see, he's immune to all incinerates. Uh, whenever Sunspot would be incinerated, he gains five solar charges. That's actually very important. As we'll see, managing his solar charges is key to unleashing his damage. Uh, he starts the fight with his maximum solar charges, and one expires every three seconds. So you can see you're going to be playing a little tug of war. Uh, that flare state, you have a max of 10. That is going to give you a lot of damage. Now, the reason that I said that you want to manage the charges, uh, as you will see here, is because you can gain flare state up to 10. However, you're going to be constantly losing solar charges. And when you go down to zero, you will lose all of your flare state. So all your damage gone and you'll have to fire off a special three to reset it. Okay, so we're just going to keep going down here. Uh, but that's pretty much Sunspot in a nutshell, right? Uh, you can see here, and I'm going to summarize the basic strategy when we go into Realm of Legends uh, and fight Winter Soldier. So you can see what you have to do here. All right, so on his well-timed blocks, I just wanted to mention this, he has... 100% perfect block chance as long as they are incinerated. Okay? Now, this says for the duration of his opponent's combo or special attack. So, don't think that you're going to be gaining perfect block chance all the time as long as they're incinerated. It's only for the duration of their combo or special attack. All right? Uh, when Sunspot performs a perfect block, he purifies one incinerate debuff on his opponent. Uh, while he's heavy, uh, charging his heavy, he also purifies one incinerate debuff every 0.18 seconds. And you're going to see that in play uh, when we get over to the gameplay. All right, special one, very key. You're going to gain a stack of flare state. Remember I said you want to gain flare state uh, stacks to maximize your damage potential. All right. Um, and the incinerates inflicted during this special attack last nine seconds longer. That helps you manage them. Believe me. Uh, the special attack two. this is the big money. This is the big boy damage right here. OK, it expends up to 15 solar charges. And for each stack of flare state, Sunspot gains a prowess effect, increasing the damage dealt by this special attack by 200 percent. So you understand what you're wanting to do here, okay? And you'll see that in the uh, gameplay. And then special three, as I mentioned, it recovers the maximum of his solar charges. So since he's not awakened right now, uh, he only has uh, 40. Uh, what is it? 40? No, 80, sorry. Um, and he will get 40 when he is awakened. All right? And for every 20 solar charges recovered, he inflicts one incinerate debuff, okay? So that special three not only resets, but it also puts incinerate on them and does a lot of damage. 
All right, so let's go over to the gameplay and I will talk to you about the strategy and we can see his big boy damage. Okay, so we're gonna fight Winter Soldier here and this isn't the cleanest of fights. Uh, I messed up a couple of times, in fact. All right, you can see right there, right off the bat, I'm just getting kicked in the face. I don't know what it is. I think his animations distract me a little bit. Uh, but in any case, the basic strategy is this. Parry, hold the heavy, you purify those incinerates, and you'll notice that his power is going up. Okay, so you want to do that, and then you want to interrupt your heavy with a special. Okay, so you'll see me do that right here, and I fired off my special one. That gave me another flare state. So right now we have three flare states, but you'll notice that the solar charges are going down except when I hold and charge that heavy, I'm getting more solar charges. Okay, you don't want to, those solar charges to go down to zero or else you're gonna lose all of the hard work that you've been putting into building up the uh, flare state stacks. Okay, so that means that he is a bit of a ramp up champion and he also does not play well with suicide. So at this point right here, I'm gonna fire off a special three simply because I got a little nervous and the solar chargers were getting a little low. And I decided to go ahead and fire off the special three to reset everything. But because the flare state stacks are at five, uh, well, four right now, I'm gonna be losing a lot of solar charges per hit. You, you'll notice every hit is losing four. Okay, so we've got five of the uh, flare state stacks all right and so what you want to do ideally once you have the number of stacks that you are aiming for that you think you know is manageable then you want to build up to a special two and fire it off and watch the damage because we're about to do that here okay get that parry and then here's the look at that 44k 44k 94k that is some huge damage. And keep in mind, he's only a rank three. All right? So you could imagine what he is like when he is rank five and when he's awakened because he'll have 40 more uh, possible solar charges, making it easier to manage and build up even more of uh, the flare state stacks. But notice here, once he's basically uh, fired that off, he lost all of his uh, solar charges and flare state charges and so now he's got nothing really so you have to build up to a special three reset it and then you can do all of that over again all right so after this uh gameplay i'll talk a little bit more about my uh pros and cons that i see and uh where i see him being used uh and my initial you know uh thoughts on him currently is that he is an awesome champion he has great damage potential however me personally i run suicides all the time so the fact that he's not suicide friendly is a strike against him in my book secondly he is a ramp up champion in order to do that big boy damage you have to build up those flare states and i had a lot of failures trying to build that up before I got this one. And you saw there, I thought he was finished, but he wasn't. All right, so let's go ahead and assess Sunspot. All right, so here are my final thoughts on Sunspot. Uh, we have a list of pros and cons. He has high damage, he's fun to play, he has great animations, uh, he does a lot of debuffs, those incinerates, so he synergizes well with the Despair Mastery if you're going up against a champion that regenerates a lot, as long as they're not incinerate immune or debuff immune. Uh, he has guaranteed perfect blocks, so that's great for a extended stun duration. And he has high prestige. Now, some of his cons are that he requires some ramp up. Now, some people don't mind ramp up champions. I do. So I consider that a con. Uh, he's not suicide friendly. Again, if you're not running suicides, this doesn't matter. But if you do like to run suicides like I do, this is a con. Uh, he's very dependent on incinerates. 
So if they cannot be incinerated, he loses pretty much all of his damage. Uh, he's also not good against stun or debuff immune nodes. And he can be very stressful to play. When I was making this video, there were a couple of times I had to restart because I kept losing the solar flares uh, or I didn't have enough of the flare state that I wanted. And it was just a little stressful. So all in all, I do like him, but bear these things in mind, okay? Now, where he can be used, uh, he has a variety of places he can be used, especially if you have the Despair Mastery. You can use him against any of the regenerating champions uh, like Wolverine and Realm of Legends. Uh, he's also good in Map 7, Alliance Quest. Uh, there's a couple of paths that he's good for. Uh, Pleasure to Burn and Diss Track are two of the ones that I can think of right off the bat. And I'm sure there's other places, but he is a very useful champion. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and informative. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.